fat guys out of breath. Hey guys, Charlie the Plumber here. So it's that time of year. We are up at Shady Acres to do our food plots. It is the second week of August. We're a little bit late because last week it was supposed to rain. Unfortunately, it rained this morning for probably about three hours. Just took the side by side through the woods, got some water out there. So we're gonna have to definitely be careful with some of the tractors and the implements. We're gonna start our food plots, get some stuff tilled up, plow it up, disc up, we're going to get some seed down hopefully tomorrow, next day, and we're out of here on Thursday. So stop into Washington Elevator, get your Jolly Santo food plot mix. It's specially made for Charlie the Plumber and crew. We've got the old Johnny Popper 1010 out. have no idea what the age is. I'm going to say 60s, 70s. You tell me what the age is on this 1010. I know that uh, the old man bought this thing from a blueberry farmer years ago downstate. I've got the disc hooked up to her right now, getting ready to fuel it up. Got the crew coming in shortly. So we got to make sure they're ready to go when they get here. We got one guy, 16 foot deer blind guy. This is his buggy. This is his ride. He does all the discing out here. So we're going to keep him busy. You feed him a beer every now and again, a water the other time, and we're going to get him going. So let's get her fueled up. Looks like we got fuel in the cans. So that's a good thing. Don't look like we got power out here. That's never a good thing when you got no power out to the barn. That just gives us one more thing we gotta look at. Oh, she looks like she's pretty empty. Oh, got a long ways to go. She's thirsty while we're sitting here talking. Facebook, Instagram, charlietheplumber.com and uh, don't forget Small Town Laser Creations. They're the people that make my channel possible because some little rascals do all the editing. I get another can, put some more fuel in there. Yeah, I give it to old John Deere years ago. These old tractors are pretty solid. Very seldom do you ever see them rusting, especially when you're dripping fuel all over. Okay, you guys ready for it? Let's see if she'll start up. about that pop 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 hopefully we'll be able to get them fields done lick of the split so i got the uh kubota and i brought the box blade up here this time it's got the five forks in the back now we're going to see maybe if we can take the spike tooths see maybe if that will help drag that field out instead of getting that plow in there so we got the 770 with the brush hog on. Not sure if we're going to continue the brush hog. It doesn't look like we've brush hogged any of the fields yet. So that might be something that we go down and we mow all this stuff before we actually disc it. I've been on that tractor since about noon. It's 4 o'clock right now. 16 foot deer blind guy, he come in and took the disc off of the 1010 and five spot I've not seen in an hour. Let's go figure out what the hell is going on. Ah yes, the old piece of crap. Let's go talk to him. Should I say, one year later, it's the same piece of shit. So I'm here with 16 foot deer blind guy and he got to hang out with Five Spot Freddy. What do you think of that old plow? Well, 365 days later, it's still a piece of shit. Piece of 1917 piece of shit. He's gonna work on this plow for seven, eight hours today and another eight hours tomorrow because it's the greatest plow ever. When can we just burn that or dig a hole and bury it? 
when Freddie doesn't come up. So there you go. You've heard it from second highest guy here, second oldest guy here. What the hell's going on? What do you think he's gonna say? I think it just needs some TLC, which 365 days ago we were supposed to do. I don't know how to fix it. It was him and Grandpa Larry. Definitely. Grandpa Larry's no longer around, so now it falls to him and nothing. Not fixed, not maintained, and this is what you get. guys we're on location with five spot freddy so we're working on your plow again this year tell me what's the story with it uh, we're just getting it tweaked it's going to take a few minutes but the spring gets a little uh stretch and wore out but we'll get her come on tell me the real truth is it a piece of shit? Don't tell me, tell the camera. Yeah, you know, he's busy out camping and out boating and out doing whatever they do. We still got a 1902 UB piece of shit trailer. friggin' plow that ain't gonna work. He's gonna friggin' hey, stay here like seven plow. hours to try to say, we can fix it. So we're gonna take off this box grater I don't know if the Kubota is going to have the balls to move one of these, but we're going to give her a shot because we can't waste the time with that old plow anymore. Freddie's frustrated and we just got to get her done. Let's go see what we can find out. Okay, these both got points on them, or this one has got a point on it. This one's a single bottom with a point. We'll have better luck with this tractor and this single bottom plow. So this is the one we're going to shoot for to see if we can make work. Which one you get, the Dearborn? Well, I got the single bottom. The whole thing's got to come over a little. It's still narrow. Well, that didn't friggin' work. So I'm gonna take out my frustration on Kubota and say, come on guys, why do we got such a small filter or something? I'm gonna take her back and uh, see if we can put a second point on this thing and we'll come back out, stay tuned. everyone so day three of food plots up at shady acres and uh, my body feels like someone hit me with a sock full of nickels lower back is hurting yesterday i wore long sleeves and a hat all day the tops of my hands are so sunburnt from the bottom of my knuckles down that it's actually killing me but you always have that conversation the next morning of what was good yesterday and what wasn't so good yesterday. An old five spot, Mr. 1913 Plow, says, what are we going to buy? I said, let's start out with buying the new plow. Cost you 1500 bucks, brand new from Tractor Supply. We can't come to the agreement on buying the friggin' new piece of equipment. So this morning, I'm going to take the weed whip and or whatever and go out and trim around some of the old junk that we have so that we can take an inventory of what we have and what we need. Well, we know 
pretty much what we need. But there's things that people just want to keep forever. We're going to start call the pack in the fields. We got um, pretty much everything done, uh, with the exception of the front field, which old five spot hauled that plow back and forth and then he had to clean the mole boards off with a shovel every couple of trips. I don't think you're supposed to have to do that. Well in the process of shoveling the mole boards off, you've heard the story before, shovel towards your buddy not your body. So as he's coming down, he's an old guy now, he wears slip-on shoes uh, because he can't bend over to tie his laces no more. He comes down and he chops, he chops the top half of his ankle. So now he's got this cut on his leg. So he leaves everything there, jumps in the truck, puts a little duct tape and some paper towel on there and jumps in and goes up to the hospital. He gets up there, he waits five hours for the doctor to come out and say, well, we're just gonna glue it shut. I told him earlier, I said, you're a darn plumber, go in the van, get yourself some PVC glue, little primer, prime it first so that you make sure it sticks and now you're solvent welding your skin back together. He didn't listen to me, so he didn't get back here until like 10.30. Time he got back, we had a couple of cocktails with him. And so our golden plan today is to get the cold packer out we're gonna get the seed machine out. We're gonna plant some seed. We're gonna get the big tub seeder, get that done. And we gotta get some stuff done. We can get the hell out of here. Got some of that friggin' grass pulled down. We'll get this mowed up a little bit later. You guys recall this field that we started last year? It's actually turned out pretty damn good. So there's Shady. This is that field that we started to do last year. And this is just one of them bring the deer to the front of the woods fields. No one hunts on this. Yeah, this field turned out okay. There's the wind-driven windmill. That thing actually puts air into the bottom of the pond and keeps everything going. List the equipment we have back there in the field. How about the push blade? Did you know we had the push blade? Yeah, I brought that up from my house. So that scraper blade is just the back blade. That doesn't spin, does it? Yes, you can, but you have to do it before you put it on because it's too long, it'll hit the back of the track. So I looked at the serial number, Yeah. 0016. That's oh, the yeah, 16th yeah. one made. Really? That's all the crap that you friggin' bring up here! Still works, baby, it's steel. You can't fucking beat it. We're gonna take ye old side-by-side, -side, and we're gonna hook up to that cultipacker, and we're gonna go do some cultipacking. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack cold pepper and I don't care. Wow, I guess it don't move when it's in the park. Look at that, perfect. You can hook it right on real nice without the rear tailgate. This is where I got stuck. We're going to run the cold packer over this and see. Hopefully it's dry. Low spot right here. Oh yeah. We are officially seeding. I've got the official Charlie the Plumber Jolly Santo Deer Mix. Here's what's going in. 24.7% Dwarf Siberian Kale, 15.67% of Dwarf Essex Rape, 
48.59 purple top turnips and 10.7% of small burnet. Also over in this corner over here, I'm gonna put some buck forage out. We're gonna put that along the edge, one or two rows, and then the rest of it's gonna be the old CTP stuff. Tell me what you guys put in, I'm curious. Now I always overseed, I know that some people say you put too much in there and you're gonna get crowded and this and that and yada yada. What I do like, is with this new burnet seed it's white and it's a bigger seed you can actually see the seed okay there we go so when we get done with this we're going to run the cold packer over it again whoops Jim craps corn and he don't care. Jim craps corn and he don't care. I hope you guys enjoy these group of videos. We got the Pimp My Deer Blind videos coming up. We've got Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and also we've got charliethepplumber.com. Charlie the Plumber, one of the few things in life you get for free even on the internet. See ya!